Welcome back to Learning Partner. So in this video, we are going to see login and sign up page again with the Angular only. So this is the normal template I have downloaded from Google only. So let's see how we have from, uh, come to this page. Simply I have searched login page HTML CSS. Then we have a site that freefrontend.com. So if we go to that, we have found this example. Okay, the code is already ready. I just have, we just have to copy paste it okay it's just uh, css and html and if you copy paste it in your component you will get the same output okay so let's get started uh, so far we are not integrating it with this any api so simply we are going to store the data into the local storage means whenever user is logged in user is uh, signing up we will store the users array like how many users do the sign up into the local storage and while login we will just simply check for the user credential into that local storage array okay so let's get started first we need to create an array to store the sign up user so sign up users will be my variable name that will be again any of errors instead of any you can create class or construct um, class or interface also based on the choice just to save the time i'm using inter uh, just make it as any let's create an object which will which we will bind to the form that is sign up object colon any equal to curly bracket so let's see how many fields we need let's go back to the browser okay so in sign up we need username email and the password so let's create an object of for these three properties username email and password okay so these three things we need then in, let's create an object for the login also so login object colon any equal to curly bracket then we have username and password so while login we just need the two fields so we are creating second object for that let's get rid of the email okay so we have our array ready then sign up object is also ready and login object is also ready now next thing is we have to bind this to our form using ng model so sign up object so here you can see we have got two form one is the sign up form and second is the login form so here we can use the ng model that is banana bracket and we have to bind our model dot particular field name username let me just copy paste the basic things email username and password it's better to copy paste so that we can uh, we won't make any spelling mistake okay so our first task is completed next let's bind the login form also with the login object it has only two fields username and the password Okay, so I'm not covering the basic things like uh, to use the ng model, you need forms module present in your app module. Let's see how is that. Let's go to the forms module, app module. In that app module, this should be forms module should be present. Okay, if this is not present in your app module, then ng model won't be recognized. Then you will have a compilation error. Okay, so first thing you need to add the forms module in the app module in the import section. Okay let's go back to our component so our ng model uh, we have binded next thing is like on sign up and on login button we need to write the events so let's write those event on sign up and then on login let's create these events Same as second on login also. Okay. Now on first things we will do is like on sign up. On sign up, what we need to do? We need to store the uh, information what what user will be provided into the local storage as in the array form. Okay. So for that, first we need to store the data into the array. So for that, this dot sign up users array dot push so we are going to push the current object into our array 
this dot sign up array on sign up object okay next thing once we push the current object to the array we have to store this array into the local storage so local storage dot set item that is the method we use to store the item it has two parameters first is the key and second is the value sign up users this will be our key then while storing the data into the local storage we have to convert the data into the string format so we have to go for the json dot stringify and we have to pass our array that is this dot sign up users okay so let's let just see till this now let's save all and check it okay let's open the console in console we have one error let's check it in. okay it's nothing else so let me clear the logo storage first okay providing username email we are not going to see the validation because it no, we are more mainly focusing on the login and the sign up process okay let's do a click on the sign up okay so you can see once we clicked on the sign up you can see in the local storage we have got the array okay let's add one more record let's change the email id let's change the password okay let's do the sign up okay so here you can see in the local storage area we have got two records but let me check like why it is getting uh, the old record got repeated okay so for that while storing the data we need to detach the array with our local object so for that let's create let's okay so the issue what we faced like same data was getting replicated so for that we just need to reinitialize our object okay so let's just copy this sign up object and uh, let's reinitialize this once we push it this dot sign up object let's remove this any let's save it and try to check now the problem was like we didn't clear it or reinitialize this so it was uh, keeping the reference okay so this is the first user let's add the second one okay so you can see in the local storage we have got separate elements first piyush record is there and second mayuri record is there okay now next thing is for the sign up uh, login so on the login what we are going to do we are going to read the data from that local storage and see if that whatever the user id email and the password is present or not if it is there instead of email we can make it also make it use of the username also so we will check like if the provided username and password is there or not if it is there then we will allow the user to log in so we will just simply show the uh, alert message like user is successfully logged in and if the wrong password is there we will show the error in the alert box okay so let's on the login button we have what we need to do on the page let's say while sign up we have stored the data into the local storage right and so and same data we are storing in the array also that is sign up user so we have to check with the sign up array only but if we refresh the page again we need to read it back so on the log ng on in it we have to read the local storage data and push it uh, assign it to the sign up user sorry so constant so we, uh, first we have to read the local storage data and put it in the constant local data is equal to local storage dot get item so while storing the data we had the method set item while reading the data we have the get item okay then what this is this was our key okay then we have to add the if null check if local data is not equal to null means if this particular key is present in the local storage then only we are going to execute the remaining statements then this dot sign up users is equal to json dot parse because while storing the data into the local storage we have to uh, converted that to the string so we have to again convert that into the array object so we have to parse it local data 
okay okay so on the login what we need to do we just need to run a query on sign up users okay so in login page we have to write constant is user exist const is user exist is equal to this dot sign up users dot find okay so find is a method where we can assume like only one record can be found with the matching conditions so here we have to write the lambda expression we have to compare it and dot uh, that will be username equal to equal to this dot login object dot username which we will bind to the form use and and the second thing password also we need to compare m dot password is equal to login object dot password okay so this is how our whole condition will look like from this array we are trying to find a particular user where username is this and password is also this if we got the any particular record so we will get the record if not the in is user exist will be undefined so let's add a condition for that so if is user not equal to undefined means we have got the user then we can show the alert box like user found user logged in successfully user logged in successfully in else we can show the error like wrong credentials wrong credentials means if we don't find any matching user in this array so we can say like it is a wrong credential okay so let's let's just add a debugger and check it we will check the both the scenarios when once we pass the correct username and password and one where we provide the wrong details okay so let's check the local storage so let's try the first one that is username is piyush as you can see in the bottom okay why we are getting the same data let's check the form i think same name might be bounded username is this and password is this okay because ng model is same username username field is there so we just need to change it it was password that's why once we change once we are changing in the first same was replicating to the other text box let's click on the login login username is piyush and password is 1235 okay you can see in the bottom so let's click on the login okay let's do the f10 one more time okay now if you hover on the is user exist you can see the data what the current particular object we have got if you see the login object okay we have got the piyush and in password we have got the password we have entered okay so in this sign up users in this sign up users we have that record where username is this and password is this okay so we have said the uh, is user exist is not undefined means we have got the particular record so we will show the alert okay let's try with the wrong password now let's try with the wrong password okay now let's see okay now if you check his user is undefined because the password we have provided is wrong see this is not the password we have in the array for that particular record so we have got undefined okay so it will go to the else block so this is the way you have to perform the sign up and the login instead of local storage you have to use the api but the basic logic will be the same now instead of the local storage code and the reading part you just have to hit your api with provided input okay so that's it with this current video next time again we will see the more exploring topic related to angular thank you please do subscribe and like my videos